the falling water levels at Lake Mead and the dramatic transformation, the aftermath we all see it is so astonishing. So are the finds that body in the barrel found this spring, possibly authorities say linked to the mob from decades ago, captivating interest across the world. But every single day, the drought is unearthing more and more secrets. A local father and son, they are documenting it all. Millions are tuning in. He brought me up hunting and fishing and everything. His passion was always filming. I've always liked being in front of a camera. Adrian Montero Sr. and Adrian Montero Jr. are masters of the outdoors. We started posting content and people liked it. And Sin City Outdoors, on their YouTube channel, the father and son duo document their adventures in expert hunting and fishing on the waters of Lake Mead and the Colorado River. Let's go check it out. This spring, as lake levels keep dropping, the receding waters uncovered more and more secrets they couldn't help but share. Here's another boat. The water had dropped. 10 foot maybe by the from the last time we came so we picked up a camera and we said this is crazy and all these boats are starting to show up you know a few bodies out here were found and i mean people just absolutely loved it view spike their views soared from tens of thousands to millions per video in days just off this beach you could see there's different chairs and stuff like that different boats barrels all kinds of stuff are you wondering what secrets the lake will uncover next Yes, so as far as like the whole mob thing goes, everybody's trying to connect all these barrels and stuff to the mob. All that stuff is pretty interesting. Those views and everything are going up in interest. But that thing's packed full of concrete and there would literally be zero ways for us to check if there's a body in there. Are you surprised by everything you find fun? every single day? I would say we're not really surprised because we know this is a dangerous lake and it's been here for a long time. and. There's a lot of inexperienced boaters. Every single one of these boats was brand new at some time. Somebody bought it and was excited to come out here. And at some point, something bad happened. There are plenty of new dangers caused by the drought, from stranded boaters to stranded drivers. They just got stuck. Dad and son warmed. Just because something emerging from the lake looks cool doesn't mean it's safe to get too close. It's not, oh my gosh. You're stuck and they're stuck. <laughs> Nobody wants to be stuck in the mud trying to have a good time. All these boats and stuff are cool to look at. And like I said, I want everybody to enjoy them just as much as I do. But just be careful, be careful. That's why we let the experts lead the way. First, to the World War II boat, a Higgins landing craft. It's sitting a couple hundred yards from the marina at Hemingway Harbor. It's exciting to see what might pop up because a lot of this stuff right here hasn't been uncovered in the last 50 years. Next, a pricey boat, possibly from the 80s. You know, over 100,000 easy. So this guy had quite the loss when it went underwater. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of lake goers are peeking their heads inside. It's now on very, very dry land. To give you a perspective how fast the levels of Lake Mead are dropping, this entire boat was covered in water and the top of it was just peeking out a couple months ago. Look how far back the edge of the water is now. It's dropping very fast now and uh, it's just, it is pretty sad to see that the lake keeps dwindling down. The duo, now with millions as their eager audience, know that they have a mission to help many see the bigger picture here for everyone to save Lake Mead. Now, I do know that the lake is planned to keep going down. It's unfortunate, but uh, we're definitely gonna do our best to kind of keep people informed on what's going on. We are definitely using the high amount of views right now to teach conservation and, and the things we really believe in. We're trying to incorporate it in our videos. I would love to see this place, you know, one day turn to what it once was, a nice, great, full lake. The father and son are planning a trip further down the Colorado River. They plan to document the extent of the drought.